Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Today's story is Nicodemus Learns the Way. It's based on the Gospel of John chapters 3, 7, and 19. It's written by Yvonne Patterson and illustrated by Betty Wind. There was a man of the Pharisees, a leader of the Jews, his name was Nicodemus. He had heard the latest news. News about Jesus, a prophet, a teacher, a king. He knew he had even cured the sick and healed the lame and everything. Few men before had done such things. Could he be the promised one? I must find out, thought Nicodemus. So after the setting sun... Nicodemus went secretly to the place where Jesus was staying. He was afraid that Jesus might be sleeping, or maybe he'd be too busy praying. Whatever it was he was doing, Jesus was glad to welcome him in. I've heard so much about you, of all the things you've done. Do you know the way to heaven? Could it be you are God's son? Then Jesus kindly replied to the man, Nicodemus, there is only one way. You must be born again. Born again? Born again, you say? How can a man be born again? I just don't understand. Jesus answered, believe in me. You don't have to be born as a baby again. You simply believe in the Son of God. You are a part of his family then. For God loved the world so very much that he sent his only Son to die, and anyone believing this will someday live with him on high. From that night on, Jesus must have been in Nicodemus's every thought. He heard how Jesus continued to preach and of the great truths he taught. But the other leaders were all upset to hear so many believed. They followed him instead of us, they cried. They were sorely grieved. Bring that Jesus here to us, the priest commanded their men. We'll kill that traitor, then he'll never preach those lies again. But when the priest's officers returned, they were all alone. They couldn't bring him in, they said. He's like no one we've ever known. Then Nicodemus spoke up. We must do according to our law. He cannot be killed without a trial, and his offenses none of us saw. The priest shouted at Nicodemus, Oh, do you believe in him then? Nicodemus said no more. He had a nice home and a very good job. Nicodemus was an important man. He said to himself, I tried anyway. I've got too much to lose. I've done all that I can. But soon the day arrived Then, when Nicodemus heard the awful news. They've taken Jesus to the cross. The cry spread throughout the land. Then Nicodemus remembered Jesus telling him that this is exactly what God had planned. Nicodemus went to see his friend Joseph when he had heard that Jesus had died. The two men made plans together, and the two of them also cried. Joseph owned a new tomb, and they knew just what to do. They were going to bury their Savior, and they didn't care who knew. Joseph of Arimathea was a counselor and a very rich man. He begged Pilate, May I take Jesus' body? And Pilate said, You can. The two men took Jesus down from the cross, and they carried him away. For all of Jesus' followers, this was the saddest day. 
Nicodemus brought some costly spices, and they wrapped him in cloths of white. Then they laid him in the garden tomb, and that was the first night. Jesus came back to life the morning of the third day. And as Nicodemus learned long ago, Jesus is the way. Jesus went looking for some answers. He went and asked Jesus to explain stuff to him. Jesus still likes to hear our questions. He still likes to hear us talk to him. So we get to go to Jesus in prayer and we get to ask him questions. And he reveals how much he loves us as he reveals it in stories like this or in the Bible. I pray that we continue to keep asking Jesus questions for his guidance and his leading in our lives and that we may continue to learn and love him completely.